Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day. Enjoying the outdoors. It's time for your latest local forecast, which you can find at our website, WSKITV.com, among lots of other great stuff. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Cloudy with some snow showers for the day today. We'll see 18 to 22 for your summer temperatures, 28 to 32 for your base temperatures. A north wind, north wind definitely noticeable once again out there today. Could cause some issues with the upper lift, so uh, keep in uh, check with that. For Wednesday, we'll see cloudy with some flurries out there. 22 to 26 for your summer temperatures, 31 to 35 at the base. A north wind once again, 25 to 45 at the summit. Down here around the base, uh, 15 to 25 from the north. Snow showers for the day on Thursday with a high of 35. Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies, a high of 35 once again. And 35 once again will do it for your high for Saturday with a chance of some light snow out there. So get out there and enjoy it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to some more terrain today uh, with that wind dying down a bit. But it is still forecasted to be uh, increased. So... Just be aware of that. 141 trails on your Birchwood Interiors Trail Report. Eight lifts getting you there. 55 trails on the groomers list. We're looking at packed powder conditions. And Bracket Basin is open. Just remember, go in there with a couple of friends. Snubber and Skidway will get going at 8.30 this morning. They shouldn't have any issue running. 8.30 Double Runner East, as well as Super Quad and Skyline are scheduled uh, to get you to all the mid-mountain terrain and pretty much all around the mountain. King Pine and Wiffle Tree, they're scheduled for 9 o'clock. We'll have to watch King Pine. Wiffle Tree should get going. Nice, fast Super Quad and Timberline, the uppermost lift at 9 a.m., and we may see a wind hold on that, so just stay tuned to the Sugarloaf website or the Twitter account, and they will keep you updated. Tote Road, Timberline, Bridal Chain on the grooming list last night, as well as Wedge, White Nitro, including the extension, Gondola Line and the extension. Not sure if we'll be able to get to those today, though. King's Landing, Haywire, Hayburner, and Lower Skidder. Narrow Gauge got groomed out, Competition Hill, Lower Spillway, and Olive Sluice. On the east side, they groomed out Hallback, Ramdown, Wiffle Tree, and Two Hall, as well as Cruiser, Slasher, Rollway, and Moose Alley. If you've got kids and you're up here, check out Moose Alley and Scoot and Windrow over on the west side, as well as all of the lower trails and trails around the base area. Check out the kid-friendly features in the Beginner Park on Boardwalk. Sp uh, Sidewinder, Spurline, Stomping Grounds, and Drop Line are in great shape. And if you're doing some uphill travel today, stick to Windrow and West Mountain, and then Timberline from there. And just uh, make note that uh, skinning is only allowed as high as ski patrol is. Current conditions at the outdoor center, they're cleaning up some debris and whatnot, but the skiing should be in great shape. The ice rink should be open this morning, but with the warm temperatures this afternoon, it may close, so just be aware of that. Fat bike trails, it looks like Mead is rideable, as well as the narrow gauge pathway. And anti-gravity complex, if you're looking for some indoor activity, that's the place to head. And the Sugar Level Sports and Fitness Center, if you're looking for uh, to get a workout, or maybe just relax, or a quick bite to eat, check them out right off Mountainside Road or the Snubber Trail. And the Shipyard Brew House tonight is their Tuesday twofer. And don't forget, they opened up uh, daily with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some great apparatus too. March 8th, that's Wednesday. That's the Carabasset Valley Annual Town Meeting. Be sure to check that out if you are a resident of Carabasset Valley, and please participate. And... Check out our live quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. To know before you go, you can find that right at WSKITV.com. And we also have a YouTube channel that streams that 24-7. sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as WSKITV.com. And we've got a, another YouTube channel with our latest local content. Get out there, rip it up, and enjoy it, folks.